Hey guys, I've been asked to show you how to make, or rather how I make, infographics uh, for ship builds. So this is going to be hopefully not too long tutorial on how I do this. First thing you need running of course is the game, and then you're going to need a paint program. Now the one that I like to use is uh, an old version of Paint Shop Pro simply because uh, it's very simple and it's really quick but there's many out there you could probably do it with normal Microsoft Paint or Paint.net is a really good one and it's free and um, Paint Shop Pro you can also get off our website so <clears throat> if you go to the uh, crew lounge area on the website you can see that there's a little button here for Paint Shop Pro 4 click it and it will give you an option to download the program um, it's a straight up executable there's, there's no real installation as far as I remember uh, once you've got it installed it will give you a fail to update system registry ignore all that and it goes straight into the paint package what I then do is I make a, a new background make it really big I've got 5,000 by 5,000 simply because it gives me a lot of space to to put things into <clears throat> that's showing at one sixth the actual size at the moment so you can magnify in and out and so that's where I'm going to be putting all my uh, actual information now normally I do this on two monitors but I can't really record two monitors um, very easily so I'm going to be doing a lot of alt tab in um, the first thing I do is go back to the game and start to grab um, images of the build which is really simple so we'll bring up for example we'll bring up the uh, the equipment like that and I just use my screenshot button in fact I use a print screen button if you press print screen on most computers it puts the image there into the clipboard you can then go back to your paint program and just paste and there there's my image you can see I've got two monitors there but um, the, this is the left monitor, this is the right monitor, we're only interested in this. So what I'm going to grab for the for this, to start off with, is the actual uh, equipment. So I, I'll just use the cut button and I'll cut that out and get it like that. And once you cut it out then you paste that as a, as a new image. I don't need this one anymore, so I can get rid of that. So now I'm left with this. And this so this is my blank canvas if it, if you like and this is the first thing I'm going to put on it <clears throat> using con, uh, paint shop pro you can easily just control C to copy and control E to insert now you can see the size difference now it doesn't really matter where you put all this stuff but basically what I do is I tend to start sort of up at the top left like that and what I might do now is just zoom in a little bit so I can get an idea of where my uh, what my size scales are going to be like. So that's a reasonable size scale there. I'll just move that over like that. So I've got that one. I don't actually need that anymore. <clears throat> what I like to do is give people an idea of what all these weapons and consoles actually are, because obviously there's no way to tell just from that image. This is a bit long-winded, uh, a bit of a pain, but this is how I do it. Basically, I'll put my mouse pointer over the first one and press print screen. Alt-tab back to my art program. And now you can see the uh, the bit that I've just copied. It's this part, which is, uh, uh, describes the weapon. So I'll cut that out. I'm not going to cut out all the details. I'm just going to cut out the bit down to... Oops. I'm just going to cut out the bit going down to where it says Fleet Admiral because if people want to find out more then they can just look that weapon up <clears throat> so I control, uh, I've control. i made a cut around it Control C will copy it to my clipboard and then I'm going to stick it sort of here, along here the way I'll do it is I'll have three weapons I'll have three here then I'll put my um, space gear then I'll put the bottom weapons, then I'll put the other consoles. So I'll do a couple more, and then we'll probably 
pause the video at that point until uh, I've got them all filled in, otherwise this will be quite boring to watch, I would think. So I've done the gravimetric torpedo there. Paste that in. Okay, I'm just going to cut around it. Oh, it keeps letting go. I think my mouse is too sensitive. You can always tidy this up afterwards. So I'll try and line it up as best I can so it looks neat. Okay. Do the next one. You soon get faster once you've done it a few times. And so on. In the meantime, I can close these. I don't need them. Best to keep them closed, otherwise you're going to get cluttered up. Same with the uh, the other stuff. So this is the uh, deflector that I'm using. Try and be neat. Because that saves time later cleaning it up. So <clears throat> looks like I, I see that bit there that I didn't need that rarity, rarity upgrade bit. But I'll, I'll overwrite that in a minute. So I've got that there, and so on. I'll come back to you when I've done all the consoles. Okay, so I've now put all the equipment on the ship. Next thing I'm going to get is the skill tree, because that's also quite a, a big part of the uh, image. You can just about, depends on your screen resolution, but you can just about get it all on in one shot. So that's that covers just about everything there, so let's so get that. I'm just going to copy, because everybody knows what it is, you just need, mm, I've, I've gone a bit out there, you just need this part. Let's see where that fits in. So that's quite a large part of the image, but we're, we can bring it right over to sort of there. Okay. So now we've got the skill tree, we've got the equipment. What else do we need? We need the traits. So a similar thing with the traits. <clears throat> You're going to have to copy this, this image, but you're also going to need to copy each one of these. So again, it's a bit in-depth. I'll do the first few. First of all, we'll do um, personal space traits. So I'll get that. Personal space traits here. We'll stick that on, say somewhere around here. And now I've got to put what each one of them are, what each one of them is here. Now you can do it two ways. You can either you can either cut around each one of these and stick it in, which is quite nice. And you might find that it's too big. Uh, let's see. see what it's going to look like. The other way to do it is to actually just use a notepad or something like that to uh, to list them. As long as people know what they are, it doesn't really matter which way you do it. So I've got nine of these to put on. You see that's quite big. If I put nine of those on, it's going to be going to fill all this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a uh, a notepad and then put that in as a as some notes so we'll do that now and I'll come back to the video when I've filled that in okay so we're back to this now um, I've done a notepad because the editing uh, text editing facilities on this program is not particularly good but what you do is you click the A um, 
and then copy your text into that okay and then check your text size and your font use something clear and easy to read and the right size obviously I've no idea what size let's try 36 oh yeah and also the color <laughs> that was too big let's try 26 that's not too bad but it doesn't need to be that big because people are already going to be reading this size text so we can go smaller than that gives a bit of space so let's try 18 yeah that's sort of similar size to there so personal space traits like that that's pretty good then let's go back to here and get actually it should be the same screen grab I thought yeah so I can just copy these here look and I'm going to do the starship traits I'm going to put it here and do the same thing again in my notepad so I'll be back to that in a minute Okay, so I've now filled in my next text labels, the Starship traits. Put them in the same sort of uh, position. And then the last one we're going to need is the, let's go back to cut tool, space reputation. So we'll put that here. Um, I'm only lining things up by eyesight. That seems to work most of the time. And then once again, back to the notepad and put in the details from the space reputation. So back in a moment. Okay, back. To the paint program I'm now putting my space reputation which I'm gonna put here like so and now I've got plenty of space under here to put other things so what else do we want in here that's all the tricky bits I suppose I want to put my doffs so the doffs that I'm using are six doffs. Take a screenshot of that. Um, I'll put those guys. Oops, I'm still on text. Come back to cut. And we'll cut those bits out. Cut those guys out. Uh, they come with their own description, which is quite nice. Saves you having to write it all out. So doffs are there. Next thing that people are wanna, gonna want to know is the um, the actual space stations. What you're using. So <coughs> most of these symbols will be familiar uh, to people, but if not, then you can do the same thing with the notepad, which is what I'll do for completion on this. So I'll take a screenshot of that. You only need this part. You don't need bottom part because that's for ground so I'm going to put that here space stations Make sure it's lined up roughly right and then I'm going to go back to my notepad now and fill that in so back again in a minute okay so we are back in the paint program I've written out all my buff abilities and I'm going to put those next to the icons for it here. Okay. <clears throat> Another important thing people might want to see is the power levels. So make sure you set those to a viewable number rather than just the slides. Take a screenshot of that. We'll stick that in somewhere else. Can be anywhere you like really. If 
probably put it down next to it. I'll put the tray here as well so people can see the, the sequence. of uh, actions on the tray neater with the cutting there we go that looks neater there well, let's put that under there because that makes it kind of look a little bit more feng shui doesn't it <coughs> Right, we've got most of the stuff now that's on the build. If not all of it. So let's just double check. We've got the gear. We've got the buff stations. We've got the traits. We've got the skills. We haven't made a note of the uh, specializations. So let's just leave that open and take another screenshot people might want to use the same specializations and I want to zoom in and cut that out neatly as well so there we go so I've got specializations and that probably fit quite neatly in there there we go okay anything else Uh, you could put the stats that people should expect to see. Of course, the important ones here are the science ones. There we go. Let's kind of make this into a square page now. So let's see where this is going to go. think that is everything. That's just something obvious I've forgotten. We've done the doffs. I've done the traits. Yeah. So now it's back to let's just zoom out and see what we've got. You can see that we've got in this large page we've got this obvious square layout here. So what I'm gonna do now is cut that out. The whole thing and make a new image I can get rid of all these other ones now <clears throat> okay so now we're left with this image and it gives us a bit of space here to put the title and maybe a, gra a background picture in as well but before I do any of that I'm just going to see if I need to tidy up so I need to do a bit of tidying up here and the way to do that is just to select background black in this case then you can do it with the line tool. Just basically just uh, put a line in here wherever you see any kind of scruffy bits. Uh, I don't know, that bit there looks pretty scruffy, so let's get rid of that. So I'm going to tidy this up and then I'll come back. Okay, so I've now tidied that up. I've removed all the bits that said bound to character and all that nonsense because that's irrelevant so what I want to do is get um, an image of the ship that's just black around it so that's how my ship looks and what I'm going to do is I'm going to 3d print this ship click on that print ship upload now this will upload it to uh, another website where you can get quite a nice image That's the image I want. So I'm just going to use the um, freehand cut. Right, now that'll do. That's good. I'm, I'm happy with that. And now we'll go into our... Uh, text editor and put in the title of the ship which I've already put in earlier um, actually color wise let's give it a nice sort of grey shadow uh, too big 
I need to uh, adjust the text a little bit. There we go. And I'll change to white. And do it again. And put that over the top. And just click somewhere else to close that. And that, I think, is about it. And what you do then is obviously save that image. Um, and... Uh, upload it onto the exploration site so let's do that while we're at it so I'm going to save this builds fleet long range science vessel I'm going to go onto our website, Exploration Database, <clears throat> and I'm going to add it to Space Builds. I'll make a new folder. Just so people know I'm going to put intrepid, spell it, class. Okay, so we've made a new folder for that. Click on the folder and add the file, which I shall just get from where I saved it a moment ago. And it's been up, eight, uploaded. If we click on it, it opens in a new page. And also you can zoom in and move around however necessary so that people can see all the small detail. That's auto-scaled on the website, so you don't need to do anything else. The last thing you'd do is submit, upload, and put in your details. and put in ship build here, look, and just name which one it is, and then submit that. <clears throat> and then you'll get your MRP points for doing it. And that, folks, is that. <laughs>